what is going on guys and right now the parking lot is not even open it's 10 12 so they're gonna open in about three minutes and wow it doesn't even seem like there's that huge of a line when i was here yesterday for haunt it was actually like this entire lot was full it was full all the way back to the parking tolls and i was only here for 10 minutes because i drove home and i passed king's island coming back from home so i decided to stop in and get a plate of food and see if i could handle hunt maybe for 10 minutes in and i was pretty terrified i'm not i'm not gonna lie but this parking lot was absolutely full so i cannot wait to go in and hopefully have a not like as crowded day at all but it does look like there's a hold up and last time i was here they let people yeah they don't even have this gate for people to come through right now so the last time i was here i don't know if you can see slightly see that road by that fence but you at least were able to go up in there and it prevented this you know traffic hold up but let's get in the park and i got the time here i'm not gonna be able to show it on my phone while i am recording but i've got a little bit of a challenge that i want to try today here we are going just like I predicted right at oh, 10 16 now, but we are moving right in and I'm going to try to get to the left so I can get that good parking space that I always normally get. Look at this, like when I was here last night, there was this many people flooding into the parking lot and the lot was all the way out to here. Like you could, you could see cars stacked all the way out here. It was just that busy last night. And it looks like there's nobody going to this far left lane really what you've come here so many times you just learn to recognize patterns and know that this far left one is always a self-scan so i'll see you when we get in the parking lot but like where, where this where that van was cars were parked all the way out here and i was i was extremely worried all right so i'm back here again today wearing my six size great america shirt raging bull x flight uh, max force and glide of course and my challenge today is i originally wanted to do like a one hour challenge but i realized i get early entry so It'd be like in one and a half hours. So I'm gonna try to see all what I can do before 12 p.m., which is noon. And Orion's testing, and we're gonna use this early entry to our advantage. Should be able to do a lot. I'm hoping to be able to do a one ride on the top five. And with how it's raining right now, it really should be an empty day. See Orion block testing. Seems to be working properly to me. Let's open it up. Just like last Sunday. <laughs> We'll be right up one of the first people in line to get in. All right, straight into the park right at 10.30. And these are the only people who have headed to the early entry thing, uh, our little checkpoint right here. So we're gonna run, try to get a ride on Orion. It's a lot more dreary than it was last Sunday, but it does seem like there's a little bit more people. So we are gonna try to get a little bit of a move on. All right, everybody behind me, it's also on this early entry crowd. Do not wanna show like the same walks that I've been showing every like it feels like all the past vlogs so i'm gonna focus on this challenge and maybe if i see something new i'll film that see just look at how dreary it is orion almost looks like it's in a fog <laughs> so some i know sometimes security is really strict i've seen them almost kick people out of the park for running to orion at like the security basically followed them the entire way and while we were waiting outside of orion they um they basically said if you can't follow this road how can we expect you to follow any others and as you can see sometimes it looks like they don't care so we've got some crowd joining up with us. They took the way that I that I feel like is the best way, but just because they closed that one section, I haven't gone that full way yet, but let's get a quick ride. So dreary, it's gonna be awesome. So the queue is open. Saw those people that were running, run right through. So should be in for a great and early front ride on Orion. It is 10.35 and man, it is, with no line, it's really tempting to not do this thing twice, but I'm trying to get around, do everything as quick as I can. So this is nothing new to me, but if you're newer to the vlogs, like these past vlogs, Orion has not had a line. I've been so lucky to just go around the park and not have a line. And especially with visiting King's Dominion and I've been to Carowinds, I don't, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm so lucky to be able to come to a Cedar Fair Park and what I think is one of the better ones just as often as I can and ride these rides as often as I can. So you see, we're walking right up to an empty station. I'm going to get an empty train, which makes it all the more tempting to go around and do it again. But we're going to get our one ride and keep it moving. All right, so it's 10.43. Actually, I'm gonna find this photo booth as I walk, because I've, I've walked just like, every time I've come off of Orion, I've just never thought about the photo booth. And I've always been like, where is it even at? But not gonna lie, the slowest I've ever been on like that ride. Got the second train of the day. There was, I think, five people on it. So tempted to go do it again. But like I said, it's 10.43 and I'm challenging myself. And I'm gonna put in a quick little off-ride shot there so you can see what I mean by how slow it's running. Almost looks like it's gonna roll back that big hill. Get a better angle. Of it. This is the last 
moment here. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you compare that to other shots that I've shot, I mean, wow, that was slow. All right, so Orion is now a station wait, and we are actually gonna continue along. We're gonna go all the way to Diamondback. Hopefully we can get off of that and start our walk to Mystic Timbers before everybody from the main entrance gets there, but I think we're on track already. Did that in 15 minutes. The only unfortunate part though, or the unfortunate part, that's what I was trying to say, is that this walk, <laughs> this is not the quickest walk from Orion to Diamondback. But we'll get there, and hopefully Diamondback still has a short wait. Good, so you can see me sweating. It's only about like 70 degrees right now, but just from the rain and all the moisture, it is so humid. I've been walking basically as fast as I can to get to Diamondback. Really trying to do this. The longest line in the park, everybody. Here we are, coming up to Diamondback's pause. The current time is 10.50, so wondering if we can get off this and head to Mystic before the main crowd gets let in. So I'm gonna add that is it is drizzling a little bit and the only rain ride that I haven't had here is Hold on Is there one person on this entire train? There is one person on the entire train. No way. Nobody waiting for the front. So let's get <laughs> My friend Thomas is up there operating it. But what I was trying to say is that Orion's the only ride I haven't done in the rain here and if it would have been drizzling like this, look at all those empty seats that I would have gotten the rain ride. But now, of course, it's drizzling while I'm on Diamondback. Let's get this ride, though. Nobody in the station. We quickly embarrassed them. Good buddy Thomas in the red over there, checking restraints. Always doing a good job, but what is this, guys? I mean, what is this? All right, it's 10.57 right now, thanks to some amazing operations, especially by my friend Thomas up there. Or not especially, just the fact he's up there, he's always working hard. And honestly, that was like one of the best dispatches I've ever had when I was on the train. It was me in the front, one person behind me, and then two people in the back. The rest of the train was empty, so we're gonna head to Mystic though, because it's only 10.57, so I'll be able to jump in this line, hopefully before, you know, everybody else floods here. Got three rides to do in one hour, can we do it? Short little queue formed out here. Not bad at all. As soon as we open, should be right in. Also, Ryan from Christian Coaster is working. So you see, empty Mystic Timber Station. Those of us in front of me are those that are in front of me. That's about it. So we'll be on one of the first trains of the day on Mystic as well. So we'll be on train two of the day, but can never complain about walking up to the front. Never. Mystic, they're a little bit more aggressive about making sure that you fill all the empty rows, so that's why this train is not as empty. All right, so it's 11.08, just had a fantastic front ride on Mystic to the point that lifted my shirt off and I had to try to push it down because I was getting some uncomfortable, like, restraint skin rubbing action that I did not want, but it was great. Got to say, though, because I've done this in Winterfest, rain now, and the cold, like, compared to, like, how other rides are affected by the weather, this one still feels like it's not going just as fast, but this ride always feels fast and it always feels fantastic. Firmly my fifth favorite in the park, but an excellent ride. And I gotta say, it, it feels as fast as every ride that's taller than it here. All right, now I can hear the chain moving on the beast. So I was actually worried because I hadn't seen any trains traverse the lift hill throughout basically the entire time I've been here. So this is open and it's 11.10. When I started this challenge, like that, that's 11.15 is right around when I saw myself coming to do that are coming to do this ride because that gives me plenty of time to hopefully get off and walk from the back basically all the way to the front to do Banshee. And hopefully we can complete this before 12. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to, but we're close now. Just since I've walked through it so many times, I'm starting to really appreciate how much wood they incorporated into the queue. It's such a classic feel coming down here. So we got one train in front of me and uh, that's about it. <laughs> Well, that was just just a legendary moment of its own, having a beast train all to myself. I do have to say, though, it was running extremely slow, and you can see Banshee. That's the ride we have to walk all the way to. I didn't even check the time before I started doing this clip, but the only reason I would walk from here to Banshee is just to complete this challenge, just because I'm all the way in the back of the park, 
and honestly i'd go back to orion diamondback is still sending mostly full trains and i would do this right again that i just had a seat all by myself on like for sure but we're gonna complete this like do it way better than i thought i would so the fact that i just had a zen ride honestly is like like absolutely insane i've never had one especially on that ride i just i can't think of the last time i had one might be mind blower back at one spot when i did that 16 times in one day and most of my rides were zen rides just because nobody was there but I was running extremely slow, like we barely coasted up into the brake run and then you could just tell we were going like half a mile per hour on the brake run, <laughs> but still a fantastic ride, a ride by myself and honestly so therapeutic. So Stunt Coaster actually has no line and that's one that families normally flock to, I mean not a single person. I want to do that and maybe pad my stats, say I did six coasters in an hour, but I am going to, I'm going to do Banshee. Absolutely no line. like. I think, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep vlogging, but I'm definitely gonna basically restart my entire day and do everything all over again. So this is normally a haunt maze, but they do have it open, like I guess just for a non-scary walkthrough during the day. So just a little bit of information there. I know it's a haunt maze because I was here yesterday night and heard everybody screaming inside of it. So I'm gonna get this shot to see how full the Banshee trains are. Saw a couple empty rows. It's about 11:30, so as long as it doesn't have a 30-minute wait, we've completed the challenge. And I do want to add that I've done every coaster in the front as well. Sun peeking out a little bit, but here we go. 11:32 right now. Banshee with no line. So as long as this thing doesn't break down, I call that a success. Walk right up to join this group. It'll be the next train on the front. All right. All things considered running decently rough for the front but still had like an exceptional ride it's 11 40 so see if i can hitch a ride on vertigo pad my stats i was gonna say i haven't really seen this thing run at all but i did, did just send a train so there must just really be like not many people here at all and after this i'll probably put like a title screen at whenever i decide to end this vlog just stating how many times i did each ride because i've done my top five once and i'm gonna hitch a ride on a vertigo and then I'm really, like I said, I'm gonna restart the day and just go around and marathon just because of how how short all the lines are. But let's do this with Coma Beauty. Honestly, in the top three and most intense rides in the park. Nobody behind me, the insanity continues. The humidity continues as well. If somebody says that Invertigo is their most intense ride here, they have a point. Like, <laughs> it's not mine, you can see the sweat. I hate how it looks, but I think Banshee runs, you know, more consistently intense, or they're both consistently intense, but my goodness, you fly through the inversions on that. I would recommend row 14, which is the furthest to the front. And I feel like that's definitely the, I don't want to say smoothest, but when I've done the back, the opposite side was nowhere near as smooth or good. And wow, just that thing go, absolutely flies through those inversions when you're in that row and just so intense. So we're walking past Banshee over towards the bat entrance, gonna be our seventh coaster. We do. Honestly, I thought five would be tough, but just with how little people are here right now, I can't believe we're going to do seven in an hour and a half. So after doing, uh, I think it was called American Eagle, whatever the intimate racing wooden coaster is called at Six Flags Great America, I thought, you know, that queue would be as bad as this one. No, this, this is by far the longest queue I have ever been in. And that one is infamous for people talking about, but so is this one. I mean, where are we going? really all the way out here and I would love to see how they expand this area in the future. <laughs> Just taking a quick shot of the screen so I can prove I actually did it 11.50 a.m. and no line for the bat. Seven coasters for 12 p.m. What piece of track down there? I feel like you guys are gonna get tired of watching me vlog at places with no lines. Hey this kid worked over Ryan last time I was here but yeah I feel like you guys are gonna get sick of seeing this stuck type of stuff just because it's I don't want to say rare, and I never come expecting it, but wow. Current time is 11.58, just came off the bat. We did it, seven coasters in an hour and 30 minutes, five in one hour. Wow, I mean, that was really, really fun to do. Of course, I normally like to do rides multiple times when there's no lines, but I wanted to, you know, challenge myself, see if it was somebody's first time, how quickly they'd be able to run around, how quickly they'd be able to do a lot of different things. Tell you what though, that thing is starting to show its age, but that thing pulls some G-forces. I mean, that bat was running great right now. So that last like sort of helix 
where you're closest to Banshee, that's where you can basically feel how how intense it's running. And that, I don't want to say intense because it's an arrow suspended, but I definitely felt some Gs in that Helix. And always a fun ride. I'm, <laughs> my friend Zach was smart to do this because when I went to Magic Mountain, I didn't do the one there and I'm regretting that now. All right, but like I said, not sure how much I'm going to keep vlogging, especially because I really, really want to enjoy the day. It's been a long, long time since I've come and, you know, just basically enjoyed, enjoyed the park without vlogging. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep going around. I'm going to really enjoy these little lines as I go into this echoey tunnel. But yeah, I'll try to keep you guys updated. So it looks like my parade might get rained on, literally. <laughs> I checked my phone. It says rain starting in 33 minutes. So I'm not sure what all I'm gonna be able to do before that time, but I'd like to be able to, to do the uh, three B&Ms again once. That, I feel like that would be great. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Two rides have ever made me gray out. I-305 and Banshee for the second time just made me gray out. On the final Helix too, which I don't even think is the most intense part of the ride. I absolutely love the pacing of that ride. I feel like more people need to put respect on Banshee. My favorite Ember by far at this point. It's because I love how how the g-forces grow after every every element then you get that intense turn into the inline twist that amazing moment of hang time and then you got two i don't i'm not gonna say like that last turn into the break run is a helix but that helix before I'll tell you what that's what that's what grayed me out wow all right so it's been a while since i've showed like what i drink so you can either do powerade or high c fruit punch if you want electrolytes you go with fruit punch then you mix that with powerade lemon or mini made lemon juice so good. My favorite drink. I think I'm just gonna keep vlogging because according to my phone, it is T minus 25 minutes. So it is about to start pouring on Kings Island. So I'm gonna try to hitch one more ride on Orion. I come over to Coney Barbecue because I really want to try their brisket now that it seems to be like a, a menu item that they actually have every day. So I was gonna walk over to Orion, but that is a full empty train after it hasn't sent one in a long time. And I was gonna say, once I got over there, but that unfortunately, and I hate to say this about a BM, that is the most unreliable coaster we have. I, I have no, I mean, this was closed for weeks on them, but that was for track work, of course. But Orion just tends to break down so much, especially if you go back in my vlogs, it breaks down so often. And I, 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 that's just all I can say. Everybody who works here also agrees with that. And everybody who's worked at Orion, it just, it faults itself a lot. And I don't know, I've, I've seen maintenance in the station. It, it, it breaks all the time. I can't believe it. All right, so luckily as I'm walking over, there are people on it, so I will be able to get one more ride to see the people with their hands up in the front. That's normally me. <laughs> Interesting to see what I look like from down here on ground view. To be 100% honest, if it wasn't about to rain right now, I would go for 10 rides on this. I, I might even go to beat my single ride record, which Mindblower has for 16 rides in one day. And that was a rough ride. I can't believe I did that 16 times. It was still after doing Velocicoaster, my favorite ride in Florida. <laughs> but, man. Nobody in this line. Nobody in this line did it. It's gonna hurt to leave, but it'll be pouring on my car, so. A quick update, yes, never film when you're driving, but I just wanted to show you guys, it is absolutely pouring right now. iPhone camera does not do it justice. We've got our, our brisket sandwich in there chilling next to us. It started drizzling while we were on the way out, and, and yeah, that, that's just how the day ended, and I, I wanna go back, but like I said, it looks like it's gonna be raining for a while, so unfortunate. <laughs> see if it looks like it's running a little bit faster um my phone just updated it said rain in seven minutes <laughs> uh, okay i'm gonna really try to hurry because i didn't want my food to get rained on that i take out of the park Let's try to get a little bit of the ominous atmosphere that's right so i just come off my my last ride of the day and i gotta say that big airtime hill, I, I've never given it any credit. And I feel like the reason I don't is because it's right after that insane flow ejector hill. And then you go up and there's trims as you're going up. And it just, it doesn't hit as hard as that flow ejector hill does. And I, I gotta say, I'm, start, I'm starting to warm up to it. I do feel like it is a nice moment of airtime now. Definitely better than the, than the hills at the end of Diamondback on the last part. But yeah, just came off my last uh, day or last ride of the day on Orion. You just see how overcast it is. As much as I'd like to stay and get a rain ride on Orion, it says it's not gonna stop raining basically for the rest of the day. Otherwise, I'd think about coming back. So I'm gonna go get some Coney barbecue and try to get out before it gets rained on. Just in case I do start to get rained on, I'm gonna end this vlog today. 
nice shot of Ryan Goat down behind me. If you guys didn't catch last vlog, I had some shots of Firehawk, which was in this plot of land, of course, behind me, as well as some, some shots of Vortex in that plot of land. Just because I've been coming to this park for so, so many years. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I, I feel like I, I, this has to be maybe like my 10th vlog of Kings Island this season. And I, I just, I don't know what to do because I come every Sunday just to have fun, mostly just for food because, you know, I'm a broke college student. and. There just ends up being nobody here, nobody in the Orion Station. Zen rides on Beast and just an insane summer. Yeah, fortunately, my day again as Orion goes behind me. Like I said, there's always a train on that lift hill. Got cut a little bit short because of rain. I probably would have done Orion another three times to make it to five. I, I wanted to do Orion, Diamondback, and Banshee five times once I saw how there were no lines, but I'm going to head out now. Guys, thank you for watching this vlog. If you haven't seen my other vlogs from parks like Six Flags Great America, Holiday World, Kings Dominion, all this year. and. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Like, comment, and subscribe. I read each and every comment I get. So, see you guys in the next one. Can you catch me?